Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel and welcome back to my match versus Anne in our internal GA Snooker Handicap League. This is frame three of three. If you haven't seen the previous frames, I put a card above for frame one. So go ahead and watch that at your leisure and then come back and watch frame two and frame three. For those of you who are caught up with frames one and two though, let's get into frame three. Hey everyone, welcome back to another Rock for Q video and this is frame three of my best of three GA Snooker Summer League match against Anne. If you haven't seen frames one and two, I'm going to put cards up on the top of the screen. Firstly frame one and then frame two, so if you haven't seen either of those, please do go and watch those first. Now that's done in terms of spoilers, obviously the first frame went to a black ball and I managed to go in off on the black ball, um, sorry, black ball respot and I managed to go in off on the respot. And then the second frame I did manage to pot a black that I had no business of potting after missing some much easier pots earlier in the frame, but I did manage to clinch that frame on the black, although it wasn't a respot. So another easy snooker escape that I get wrong and just it's just not good enough really I need to practice I need to go back to my snooker practice routine I think my snooker escape practice routine So I decided to try and open them up a bit and try and get the cue ball on the black cushion. Didn't quite get the cue ball where I wanted it. And push this red over a pocket. So not got off to a good start here with um, giving the four points away plus uh, leaving an easy one for Anne. And yeah, that's not in either. Is this white in? No, thankfully not. Oops. <laughs> Where's that come from? I always come from the next table. Seems to happen a lot in our club. So again, just a safety shot. Pretty happy with that one. Got a little bit of a, uh, a good kiss off the green. Yeah, it's always going to be difficult to get a route through to Bork there. Now, oh, has she left me anything? I think so. I think I can get to this red here. Ah, but not quite. It's just not good enough. Not good enough. Uh, good safety from Anne, especially if she slips past the green which she has now well, good test of queuing very fortunate with the kiss on the red was trying to get through the cut the reds to get back for a ball colour but I will take that so there's a chance to make a few here oh but I just not played that hard enough. I needed to move, I need to go past that red and then just try to clip the green and just didn't manage it. And again, another four points given away needlessly. Yeah, she hit the wrong red. What has she left me? Not anything easy. Just having to get the old swan neck out. I don't know whether I prefer the swan neck or the spider. Don't really know why both exist, but yeah, I don't think this red passes the black, so one to the middle or just a safety? I think it's just a safety. I don't think I can actually see anything. Didn't mean to catch the blue with the white, but it has worked out pretty well for me. Uh, double kiss, where's this cue ball going to end up? Uh, it's left me a chance now. Can I get on this black? Oh. If I wanted to put that much screw on it, I would not have been able to. And now I'm having to play the yellow because I'm snooking on everything. 
and ended up giving yet another stupid four points away. But I'm getting plenty of chances, that's the main thing. I just need to just, I don't know, concentrate, whatever, just try and take one of these chances. Again, I probably could have held for the black there, but why not for the blue? Get the blue, but then I just don't get on the colour because I'm, I don't get on the red because I'm too straight on the blue. So having to play safety. But at least it's a few points on the board and laid a good safety, a goodish safety anyway. Now, got one to the middle here, but I don't think I'm going to play it. Yeah, I'm just, I think it was just a bit too thin. So I'll just try and go safe, but I just decelerated on that one. Here's another chance. A bit awkward bridging over these two reds that are together, so I'm having to use the rest. And just not not on it. Oh, what can I get to here? I think I, the only one I've got really is this red into the corner, into the green pocket. And yeah, it's just I think maybe was a bit worried about the push shot, but still, no excuse, it was pretty much straight. Long way off that one, long way off that. It's close and she's left it. Uh, can I get this red in and get on the blue? Don't want to hit this very hard. Oh, just about drops in. End up actually going a bit further past the blue than I wanted. But at least there's this red on the bought cushion. I've got a nice angle on this just to push it in and get out for a bought colour. Oh, could have done with coming out a bit further than that. I think that's one where I should have played side, but chickened out on the brown and just end up... I don't think the brown actually went past the red to, to the middle, so... Played a snooker, but Anne plays it nicely. Better than I would have done, probably. Uh, but I've got a chance. Oh, yeah, again, just distracted by that... Just distracted by that cannon, as I was saying, and just, uh, just took my eye off the pot. End up leaving an easy starter for Anne. Or an easy, easy red anyway. Can she get on a colour from here? Good attempt. She's definitely on the blue or the green, I think. She takes a good look at the blue, but not quite. Now, is this red? Oh, it's just gonna, I don't know. I think I do take this on. E oh. Yeah, I'm not sure I could quite get to the point angle there. Anyway, just be patient. It's just a bit of the pink and the black being tied up. It's, and the blue not easy, easy. It's very difficult to score. So I just need to make sure that these last few reds are mine and I'm in touch when we get to the colours. Oh, that could have been better. Just wanted to interrupt this frame for a second and say if you're liking what you're seeing on this video please give it a thumbs up and give it a like it really helps get this video out to more people also if you're watching the video without being subscribed please do consider subscribing to the channel it's completely free and it's the best way of following my snooker lifestyle journey now back to the frame That's a good cue ball. 
could do running a bit further, but still, good cue ball. Tap on the table for me. Mm, not good. Got away with it a bit though. Well, I thought I had anyway. Never mind. It's only a red. But then she puts the green in. Just noticed that the green ball is not coming through properly and the proper colour on the um, brake builder tracker thing that is on the screen. I think it's to do with the uh, green screen effect or the key effect to try and get the uh, scoreboard all the way to work. So I'll need to look at that, but it was a green, trust me. Anyway, we dry grass. Oh, that double kiss has definitely helped a little bit, but I can... Well, I didn't... I don't, for some reason, I didn't fancy taking on the red near the pink spot. I think it was more to the fact that I couldn't get on a... It was pretty straight and I couldn't get on a colour. Right, but... I've got this red near the black, but can I get... Is there good enough angle for me to get out for a bot cover? Well, there was, but I did it hard, and I don't want to go in off. I haven't gone enough. But I've left it... Well, left it. It's tricky. That was another great pot. So another red off the table. And there we go. As I said before in a previous frame, she's pretty good at those pots along the cushion. So this is looking pretty ominous for me. Quite a fair way behind in this frame with only th four reds left. And at least the, the only positive, I guess, is that the black is now on its spot. Uh, so just trying to sort of play safe here. Trying to cut off her options. She's also playing safe, but it's left me this long red. With a chance of getting on the black. No, it doesn't go in. But that's okay, I'd rather it I'd rather it not go in when I, you know, don't manage to get good on a colour at this stage. So it's just a containing one here. I was a bit worried about hitting that red too hard and sending the pink round the table. No doubt what it would have gone in for me. So I attempted at the double, treble, whatever it was. Not left it. So I'll try and get behind the black here. Somewhere like that, but not quite. Put that red too close to the middle. And she's managed to nail it. And uh, another, yet another red off the table. But thankfully for me, she doesn't manage to pop the black. But neither does she leave me anything easy. So just a safety shot. Happy with the cue ball. Yeah, that's about as good as it's going to get for me. Yeah, I think she hit the wrong red there. I think she was aiming for the other red. Maybe not. So. Medium red. Will it go in? Not far away. Would have been on the brown at least, I think. Yeah, another another half chance here. Oh, missed a shot out there, I think. Oh yeah, that was a, the camera died. I had to restart it, unfortunately. But nothing's been potted. Thankfully, I noticed it before it was too much was missed. No, another red in from Anne, and uh, another load of points off the table. I'm 
was trying to play the plant. Didn't quite work. All right, it's just a bit of a tricky cut. Ah, oh, but then I can in the blue and leave myself a tricky pink, but this basically needs to go in. I do need these points. I mean, it's not the end of the frame, but and that helps a fair bit. Well, I think that was a pot attempt, but didn't get close to it. Now there's a chance here. And it goes in. Now, need to get this black in. If I get this black in, I'm basically back in this frame. I mean, I'm not out of it, but that would have been a very useful few points. Uh, and then she pots the yellow, so backs against the wall a bit here. I now need a snooker, basically. But she has snookered herself. And she manages to get out of it. And then she snookers me. Well, at least I do manage to get out of this one. Bit of a sly dig there. She said uh, she thought I was going to fluke a snooker back, but I said I don't get that kind of look. Well, green's gone in. I don't know, kind of uh, tunnel vision here, thinking oh, I'm getting nicely positioned on these balls, so I'll keep, I'll keep playing them. I mean, why can I not play like this when I don't need snookers? It's about the best I've queued in all, all frame and I need a snookers. I was playing for a snooker there, and I do get one. Well, it's, I think she can maybe see the extreme edge, but she decides to play off the cushion. Yeah, and it's, it's a good hit. There was there was room to go around the back, but she managed to avoid that. So I'll try to do another one. This one is played for and just not quite got. So sensible for man, just hitting it slowly, definitely doesn't want to go in off. And another one, pretty much played for and got. Getting into snookers, damn sight better at getting people into snookers and getting out of it, but she just manages to clip that. That is such fine margins, but she hits it. And I was trying to push, that uh, was a bad shot, I was trying to push the pink past the black for the snooker and end up putting the black over the pocket. So obviously very difficult now to get a snooker. So I start thinking about, well, maybe I'll just keep the ball on the table and hope that she goes in off, or maybe hope that she cannons the black at some point. Oh, and then I, I nearly managed to fluke a pink, which would have been obviously end of frame. So again, just I'm being, I'm being careful. So here I think, well, maybe I'll push the pink towards the black and force her to play the pink towards the black, but I didn't hit it hard enough. I was a bit worried about obviously cannon in the black. But obviously it's far enough away that she didn't even need to go anywhere near the, the black. So now I thought, well, maybe there is a gap at the left of the black that I can maybe get it in behind. But didn't get quite that. I didn't quite get that right. So back to plan A. Well, plan... Oh, yeah, there's another miss of a shot there. And that one, I don't know, must have cut that one out by accident. So anyway... She's... Well, <laughs> thought she might have fought, fouled there, but she didn't, and she wins the frame. So it's a 2 1 loss to me. Great win for Anne. And, uh... Well, thanks for watching. A bit disappointed to lose that match 2 1, but to be honest with you, I think Anne deserved it. 
I didn't play well enough. I didn't um, take my chances well enough, and and deserved a bit of success after, you know, she's um, been around Geo Snooker for a while and uh, quite happy to see her be successful. Hope you enjoyed this video. If you're still watching at this point, you probably did. And stay tuned to the channel for more of my GA Snooker League and my general snooker lifestyle journey. Thanks for watching.